You have invented your own steady system. Or some, uh, some details, some uh, specific details or idiosyncrasies uh, on, of our systems. For instance, the suspension of our arms based on latex straps instead of springs. It makes the arm extremely smooth, perfectly silent, adjustable for any weight up to their maximum for which they were designed. For this one it's 5 kilos, so you can put a 500 grams, up to 5 kilograms uh, uh, device with the same quality of suspension. And, and those suspensions, it's a kind of rubber bands, isn't it? It's uh, actually hyper-elastic latex, specially made for us. The straps are unbreakable. It's a special process in the vulcanization of the latex. And uh, so we guarantee them for 10 years. And uh, when you change camera, if you use a more heavy camera, what do you have to do to, to adjust the system? You just have to add some straps maybe more than you need and when you have the camera on you you feel how it, uh, how it feels and then you just pull one or two straps to make the, the load capacity absolutely perfect. Yes. And there is a moment when you make this adjustment where it just feels right. You, the arm just responds perfectly. It sounds too easy to be true. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, actually quite easy, yeah. yeah. Here the, the straps are just between two points and then you just need to take one, remove it like this, and the arm suddenly changes uh, its response. Now it's getting uh, down uh, with this same load. So I just take it here, I put it back here, I put it back there. And, and how did you get that simple idea? We started with the spring arm like uh, everybody else and uh, uh, I once received some parts, I wanted to see how it works, so I, I put a, a rubber band uh, which was on my desk just to see the, the parallelogram moving and uh, I saw something happening when I put the, the strap, something very, very strange, very smooth, very uh, uh, weightless, uh, so I made quite a lot of research to make this work inside a stabilizer arm and it does. And, and it's uh, e economic? A solution, I guess. Sure, it is, really. Um. One of our other main uh, features is to use laser cut aluminium. We, we take a sheet of aluminium, we cut it uh, with a laser, then bend it, which is a 10 to 20 times cheaper uh, process than uh, taking a block of aluminium and cutting all the aluminium which uh, you don't need. So the, this process makes beautiful parts, sturdy ones, and uh, 10 times cheaper. And yeah. for how many years have you worked on this project? Seven years now. Yeah, <laughs> it's quite a long time now. Yeah, so we now we really know how to make a very nice piece of equipment, cost effective and qualitatively just perfect. And it's made in France? It's made in France near Paris. And yeah. sold in? South America, all Europe, uh, Africa. We have an office in Japan. We work in Middle East, the United States, a uh, little bit of Russia and uh, Australia, not yet, but we're working on it. <laughs>